When you chase around kids all day, moms know every minute of shut eye counts. I try to keep him asleep as much as I can and tiptoe the car seat out of the car and into the house or into the store. Researchers now say stop doing that after they found cancer causing chemicals in some seats. In others, chemicals with unknown side effects. Many of these are hormone disruptors and the impact of these is, uh, can be significant. Nonprofit environmental organization called the Ecology Center first began testing the seats 10 years ago. After all, if you have a child, you have to have one. It's a safety device. If you're transporting a child in a car, you have to purchase one. So you don't have an option of saying, I'm not going to buy one because I'm concerned about exposure. Why would there be chemicals in these seats at all? It goes back to the 1960s when more people smoked in cars. So car upholstery was treated with flame retardants to keep ashes from igniting the fabric. Car seats were added to those federal standards back in the 80s, but without any rules on what chemicals can and can't be used. Now those same chemicals, many of them are already being phased out of furniture and clothing, but they're still showing up in car seats. Perhaps even worse, some manufacturers don't even know what chemicals are being used. So sometimes even when they try to find out what their supplier is using, it's, it's difficult. Manufacturers have to rely on a lab like this. In 2016, the Ecology Center tested 15 popular seats, ranging in price from $50 to $400. For the first time, they found a seat, the Upper Baby Mesa Henry, free of any flame retardants. However, it's more expensive and doesn't go on sale until the spring. <laughs> there you go. Look at you. Hardly peace of mind for parents who want to rest assured safety takes a front seat.